So, I do believe it's the enemy's turn while Umbreon does that. Yeah. Or check the house. So yeah, it's the enemy's turn. Oh boy, the enemy's turn. What does this archer do? He could be an asshole again to all of, to each of these people. Because <laughs> he can actually reach Vanessa. Oh, he a prick. But Wait. Isa has low health. Just, just has some vulnerabilities on him. Yeah, he, he hits Isa. Isa's unconscious. Ooh. That's two people. Two people. Two people. Archer we've... Envy. Archer Envy. Yeah. I assume Joseph's going to carry her. Oh, to remind you, Joseph has two Fallen Aries, I think. Yeah. Nathan gave him his. But when these individuals enter the, the... They don't look immediately hostile to you. Wait, to who? When these enter the, these individuals down here... Uh... The next way. Yeah, they don't look hostile to which to do to, to you all because as soon as you come in, you see the mage takes takes his scroll, opens it, and casts a spell into the air. Shit, which is just a red streak into the sky. Shit. As they aren't looking immediately hostile to you, it seems like you guys became a second priority. What the hell came with first priority? Actually, they look more specifically to Vanessa. Oh shit! <laughs> the, the giant wyvern that she's right. This one, the archer becomes more speci specified on Nathan's brother. Oh no! The cavalier is looking more intently at the child behind Ed They have escaped! <laughs> please don't attack me, please don't attack me. They're escaping! I don't think he can reach you. He has tap uh, seven to reach you. Technically. He has seven. It's no! Horse Almost all mounted units have seven. This buddy did not think correctly because guess who has. who's able to attack him? Yeah. Seems he doesn't really care about his own. Well. These huh. individuals. That's. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One. Actually, no, wait, he's gonna go last. One, two, three. Alright, now he goes through the houses, that's two. Go through the forest, that's another two. That's another movement cost we get to there. This individual. He, he enters the house. That's his turn. Those guys had to use their turn to enter the field. Allies turn! This man's going to... 
Yes, the goats are here. I'll, I'll say he can keep hugging the lid. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Joseph's going to pick up ice. Do the same thing. But that's gonna be just shooting straight across the. Nathan's gonna get across the bridge as soon as he passes. He's gonna use his turn to lock the gate behind him. Because Nathan had the key for this side. Sorry, he had to do here. Uh, do you guys have an ally left? No. Your turn, player. Uh, Brian, I'm letting you go first because I need to get at uh, this cavalier. Oh, shit. And I need to get the cavalier. Oh, I can move over here. I have sick movement. Thank you. Well, that would be like. Well, bear, bear in mind, a diagonal counts as two. You can get to here. Yeah, every diagonal's too. You'd be, yeah, you'd be able to get some gear. You can get the Good, because Sarah's going to take care of something. Alright, attack the cavalry. Am I getting in punching distance? Because of my avoid. Well, let me modify his stats before you click anything. Doesn't matter, you hit him. Anymore. He's still alive. He hits you for 12. Sarah goes, Vic, hit it one more time. He may he may die. Gotcha. I forgot to set your HP to HP. So yeah, you're at 10 HP, Sarah. Go so, so for it, boy. Oh. Okay. You hit it. You did kill him. Was he not able to attack? No, because you killed him with the first. Oh. It's just that Sarah, he survived Sarah's attack by one. Yeah. And, and he hit her for 12. I still have one square of movement, so I'm playing a little bit. Sarah, that hurt a lot. Yeah, Sarah just goes, ow, ow, ow. Because whatever kind of just shouts striking distance. Yeah, Vic kind of laughs, kind of laughs, and says, "Maybe you should stay out of out of melee." I said, as he says, "Call." Vic <laughs> <laughs> just throws Edward a thumbs up. Like, yeah. Sarah just yells, at "Edward!" I almost actually had him. Vic holds up a little measurement, like, "Who's this?" Oh, the Cavalier actually had a crit percentage too. So did Sarah, but his was one percent higher. What's the turn counter right now? Um, uh, it's even. Okay, so I. Vic, you threw the cavalier. My dam my damage didn't go hot, did it? Crystal, you on your? Only... Sorry. It's eleven normally? Yeah, it's eleven normally. Because it goes up to fifteen whenever I on my even turns. How? Crystal, you probably wind up right here. Right here, right here, spot. Yeah, I got a plus three to my strength and a plus five to my speed. And these are both gonna be stuck in there, so. Okay, well, that's, that's my turn. I'm right. getting rid of perfection. Yeah. <laughs> One thing at a time. My so, that's, it's Crystal's turn now. Mm-hmm. 
you are probably going to make it max right here. Okay. Right here. Yeah. Pretty much you are stopped in front of the house right before the houses that haven't been checked. Yeah. Actually, you'd be one tile back. You only have five. Uh, of character, I believe that's everyone's turn. Mm -hmm. It's the enemy's turn. Then what the sword fighter does as well. One, two, three, four, five. He can get to this house. He's going to visit it. Two, three, four. Five. You can get to this house. He visits. Are they murdering all the other villagers? I don't know. What are they doing? They just check it out and make sure there's there's anything to loot. They were willing to kill kids. I doubt that. This one. The mage sees his conundrum, the gate's behind him, and he can't reach him over the wall. He can't wall bang the dude. So, visit, visit, visit. The archer is like, well, his buddies have already checked the houses, so. Oh, jo <laughs> oh God. Joseph crit him for 15. Yeah, that archer's not looking so hot. But yes, yeah, essentially fire emblem objective update. You no longer have to rescue any more people. So we don't have to rescue anyone else. No. They killed them, didn't they? Whenever a enemy unit visits a house, they destroy the place, making it unvisitable. You get uh, nothing for going there. I mean, this house is completely yeah. ransacked. They, they raided it, essentially. Yeah. Did they kill everyone inside? Pretty much. Probably. So they pretty much just so killed them. To say because they're all dead now. Well, Vanessa said no loved ones. Yeah, that's true. She did say that. Now the one, loved ones live over here. We never checked these. They did. Damn. Yeah, allies turn. Yeah, this is you from the first book. Oh, wait, sorry, you didn't get it. Unfortunately, Joseph has a really big fucking problem. Yeah, because there's a mage behind him. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah thank you. Actually, yeah, the swordsman can't technically reach him because Heights is technically not. Uh. Yeah, so instead of death rolls, you just fall unconscious. But, you know. But you're technically out of the fight unless you can get Or unless you can get healed to back to your max. Okay. In which early game, that's easy. Later game, not so much. Now, the question is, will Joseph attack the archer at first to where Joseph could probably kill him? Or is Joseph going to run, but if he does, he has to go past the villager kid who's going to get shot. But if Joseph gets shot, he becomes unconscious. Yeah. Actually, wait a minute. Hold on. He doesn't have to decide. Never mind. I forgot. I'm stupid. Yeah. We have the... We've been... 
Volinary drop. But if he uses the Volinary, that ends his turn. He'll, he'll be right back to where he is. Never mind, Vanessa got him. <laughs> Yay, Vanessa. Poor Vass, we got blindsided. Serving right. I'm just gonna thank her. Five. Five. Anyone else I'm forgetting? No, because Skull and Knights are unconscious because Thieves and Mermaid ends in another. Yeah. But Corso should make oh wait, Corso needs to make kid. By the time you get to them, they like they would have already evacuated. You can do that after combat. So yeah, turn six, turn eleven, players, your turn. Sarah promised the old dude she'd check on his neighbors, so she's gonna go do that before she evacuates. Check on his name. Well, well you figure I should check whose house. house. No, you, you just run. You guys run for the exit. Sarah just made a promise she's planning to keep. We're evacuating to the elevator in Dungeon of the Endless. Pretty much, think of it like that. It's basically, run now, we are going to get screwed over if you don't. Okay. Yeah, what was asked? Right. I mean, essentially, you know, it's like, if you end your turn adjacent to a house, you might as well visit it, because you're not doing anything else. But if you have to move away from the exit to visit it, don't. Pretty much, yeah. Since you're next to a house, you can visit said house. But this house is already safe. Uh, like, you can check these two no, houses? No, no, as in, like, you can move, then, then visit. Uh, yeah, like, you have, like, Nathan can check one house while you check the other. Yeah. No, not cool the small move. one! This one's! These two! The point is to move as far as you can and get to the Okay. So what happens when Sarah goes to check on the neighbors? Okay. You're checking the I'll, neighbors. I'll, I'll visit that. But I'll... yes, Sarah first. Because she went first. When Sarah, you would see an actual... A brawnier guy. He looks probably about 23, 24. Somewhat nervous. So panicked. Sarah shows him the symbol for Nathan's carpentry. Oh boy, do you know him? Sarah goes, yeah, he's... L Literally, we came with him to rescue some of the villagers. You want to come with? We're heading back to our own village. You're not. Alright. I believe this place. So he goes, we already checked with, in, with so several other people who didn't want to leave, but yeah, let's head. And she That's goes, a bigger guy. He gra so much shake that he grabs, he comes out of the house, he is holding a Whoa. Sarah goes. Sarah just sort of like starts leading him towards the safe exit. She goes, "If you wanna want to, we can wait a bit for Nathan." She goes, "Or." Wait, he what? He does not. All right. She goes, Vic. You might want to go start guarding that dock over there, that dock bridge over there. Once we get the, because once we get the gates, Why? gates closed, they're going to probably try and use that as their main entry point. Uh, okay. Once Nathan gets, once Nathan gets here, we just book it to the exit.
That's good enough. Well, you can check that house too. Yeah. Here's the man's temporary toe. Remember, show them Nathan's carpentry symbol and ask them if they want to come.